Now that we've seen the difference between enumeration, which is listing all of the possibilities, versus counting, we move to three counting techniques. The first of these counting techniques is the multiplication rule. The second of the counting techniques is permutations, and they are a special case of the multiplication rule. And the third technique is combinations. So we begin with the multiplication rule, and here it is. Assume that there are R decisions to be made. If there are n1 ways to make decision 1, n2 ways to make decision 2, all the way up to n sub r ways to make decision r, then there are n1 times n2 times n3 all the way up to n sub r ways to make all the decisions. All you need to do here is multiply the number of outcomes. So we start with the geometry associated with r equals 2. and in this particular case, if we assume that the rows here denote decision 1, and the columns here represent decision 2, then you can see that there is an n1 by n2 matrix of possibilities, which means there are n1 times n2 different ways to make all the decisions in this case. If we move there from r equals 2 up to r equals 3, now if we once again let the rows represent the n1 different ways of making a decision, and the columns represent the n2 different ways of making decision 2, and then we go back in a rectangular solid here and let the layers of that solid be the n3 different ways of making decision 3, we can see each little cube in this rectangular solid is one way of making the decision. And there are n1 times n2 times n3 different ways of making all the decisions. If you had r equals 4, you could simply repeat this rectangular solid n4 different times and you would have n1 times n2 times n3 times n4 different ways of making all decisions. The next few slides contain some examples that illustrate the multiplication rule.